Welcome back to The Good Life Journey, where we discuss topics related to personal finance and happiness. In today's video, we discuss the similarities between Stoicism and Buddhism, two philosophies of life that can enable us to experience fewer negative emotions and overall to experience a more joyous life. Surprisingly, despite being rooted in very different cultures and traditions, both philosophies share several core principles. Although they do differ in their approaches and the tools that they use, and they do try to reach a similar goal, which is the attainment of tranquility or inner peace, the attainment of virtue, and both promote a deeper understanding of ourselves. Both philosophies attempt to cultivate a calm mind, which can help us navigate life's everyday challenges. Many of the ideas of today's video are extracted from two books that are referenced in the description below. All right, let's jump right into it. Here are 10 similarities between Stoicism and Buddhism for attaining inner peace and for leading a good life. Enjoy. One, understanding impermanence. Both Stoicism and Buddhism emphasize the fleeting nature of the world around us, fostering a deeper understanding and appreciation for the present moment. Marcus Aurelius, the Stoic philosopher king, said that the things we treasure are like leaves on a tree, ready to drop as soon as the breeze blows. Buddhism also insists strongly on impermanence throughout its philosophy. Emotions, experiences and physical forms are ephemeral and therefore subject to change. Embracing impermanence fosters a deeper understanding of the world and allows living in the present moment. 2. Letting go of the past. Stoicism argues for adopting a degree of fatalism with respect to the past, since it is a waste of time and energy to try to change it. If we spend our day wishing for the present to be different, we will display constant reactiveness and become deeply dissatisfied with life. Similarly, Buddhism emphasizing letting go of the past to attain inner peace. Clinging to past events not only leads to suffering, but prevents us from experiencing the present moment. 3. Focus on things you control. Both Stoicism and Buddhism encourage focusing on what's within our control, fostering inner peace by letting go of external circumstances. The Stoics advise us to accept and detach ourselves from external circumstances that are outside our control, and to focus instead on internal attitudes and virtues over which we do have agency. Similarly, Buddhism emphasizes the impermanence of all things and teaches acceptance of what cannot be controlled encouraging individuals to relinquish attachment to ephemeral phenomena. 4. Mastering Desire Both philosophies stress the importance of mastering desire to overcome suffering and propose different strategies to achieve it. Stoics advocated practicing from time to time small acts of self-denial to deal with the darker sides of pleasure. They did so not to punish themselves, but rather to increase their enjoyment of life. For example, by periodically practicing poverty, they hardened themselves against future misfortunes and became confident that they could withstand major setbacks when this, these did eventually arrive. Small, voluntary acts of discomfort, for example, allowing themselves to go hungry, thirsty, cold, or practice poverty from time to time, allowed them to fully appreciate what they already had. On the other hand, Buddhism teaches that mastering desire involves understanding the root of suffering, which often stems from craving and attachment. By recognizing the impermanent nature of desires and cultivating mindfulness, one can gradually overcome the grip of craving. Through practices like meditation and self-awareness, Buddhism encourages moderation and the development of a balanced relationship with desires to attain inner peace and liberation from suffering. 5. Pursuing Inner Peace Buddhism and Stoicism seek inner peace and tranquility, emphasizing the importance of mental calmness amongst life's challenges. They share similarities in advocating for the mastery of one's emotions, detachment from external circumstances, and the cultivation of virtues for a balanced and peaceful life. However, they, their approaches do differ. Stoicism emphasizes acceptance of the present moment and the development of rationality and virtue to navigate life's trials without being disturbed by external events. On the other hand, Buddhism focuses on rationally understanding the nature of suffering, aiming for liberation from it through practices like mindfulness and compassion. 6. Practicing Meditation Although they come in very different forms, both philosophies advocate practicing meditation. 
On the one hand, Stoics emphasize a more rational reflection on how they respond to events in relation to the four Stoic virtues of justice, courage, temperance, and wisdom. It is more a matter of reviewing events daily and assessing how we responded to them and whether our behavior was aligned with these Stoic principles. In addition, they also recommend that we simultaneously play the role of actor and Stoic observer as we go about our day. Again, reminding ourselves whether our conduct is appropriate and whether we are practicing some of the techniques recommended by Stoicism. In contrast, Buddhist meditation focuses on mindfulness, cultivating awareness of thoughts and sensations to achieve insight into the nature of existence and alleviate suffering. While both aim for inner peace, Buddhist meditation leans towards understanding the nature of the mind and emotions, while Stoic meditation emphasizes maintaining a rational, virtuous mindset in the face of challenges. 7. Practicing Non-Attachment Stoicism encourages a mindset of accepting events beyond one's control with equanimity, focusing on internal virtues rather than external circumstances. Epictetus conveyed the idea that it is not the events themselves that cause our emotional reactions, but rather our judgments and interpretations of those events. Similarly, Buddhism emphasizes non-attachment to outcomes, teaching that clinging to events leads to suffering, and promoting a mindset of acceptance and detachment from ephemeral experiences. It encourages acknowledging emotions without judgment, fostering self-compassion, and cultivating practices like meditation to develop emotional resilience and a balanced, compassionate response to challenging feelings. 8. Approach to Luxury Stoicism and Buddhism share similarities in their approach towards luxury, advocating moderation and detachment from material desires. Stoicism emphasizing not being enslaved by material possessions, suggesting that luxury can lead to dependency and weaken one's inner resilience. Similarly, Buddhism warns against attachment to material wealth, teaching that excessive pursuit of luxury can perpetuate craving and hinder spiritual progress. Stoicism allows for enjoying comforts without becoming dependent, and indeed most famous Stoics were very wealthy. Although it is also permissible to be wealthy under Buddhism, it tends to emphasize renunciation of material desires as a means to minimize suffering and attachment. 9. Acknowledging our interconnectedness Stoicism highlights the importance of fulfilling our social duty and reminds us of our obligation toward others. After all, one of the four main Stoic virtues is justice or social wisdom. Buddhism emphasizes compassion and kindness toward all beings and urges us to be less self-centered and to concern ourselves instead with the well-being of others, guided by the principle of interconnectedness and the alleviation of suffering. And 10. Embracing Role Models Stoicism and Buddhism present the role models of the Stoic Sage and Buddha, respectively, as embodiments of ideals to emulate. Though being a sage or becoming as enlightened as the Buddha is nearly impossible in practice, contemplating these role models might nonetheless assist followers of these philosophies in becoming somewhat wiser or more enlightened. The Stoic sage, a person who responds to everyday circumstances in accordance to the four Stoic virtues, serves as an idealized figure for Stoics in their quest for peace and virtue. Similarly, the Buddha represents the personification of compassion, wisdom, and the way to be freed from suffering. All right, we made it to the end of today's video. Which of these 10 shared principles resonated the most with you? Let us know in the comments below. Please don't forget to give us a thumbs up and to subscribe to our channel if you found value in today's video. This is super helpful for supporting our channel's growth. That's it for today. Good luck, take care, and if you enjoyed today's video, I think you would also enjoy two dedicated videos on Stoicism and Buddhism that you can find in the description of the video below. Take care.